Okay, hey YouTube, Muckluck here, and I am currently on a Mesmer. <gasps> I know, gasp, right? Uh, however, with the addition of the support rifle uh, for Mesmer and the support staff for Warrior, I have been trying out the new support builds that have been added to the game, because uh, the green numbers fuel me and pet classes fuel me, and uh, you know, this is a green number class, it sort of has some pets. So I've been trying this out. Now, I, other than how to uh, just slam buttons and delete people in PvP on Mesmer, I haven't really done anything with Mesmer in PvE. It's just never really drawn me in to spend any time on it. So I actually, I'm basically a day one chrono here, and lots of people in my chat have been giving me advice, like, hey, I, you know, try this trait, try this trait, try this skill, try this skill. And we ended up with a build that I was able to join a group doing strikes. We did the dailies, Temple of Phoebe, uh, and we did Bone Skinner, and I was able to keep my group alive, except when someone stood in the puddles, and then, but that's their own fault. But I was able to keep my group alive through uh, all of that. So, for example, uh, this is an extreme damage field. This is the highest uh, damage the field goes. So, let's see if hopefully I don't embarrass myself here. Let's run in here and throw some of this stuff down and continuum split, get all these boons up and do 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 and here we go and if you look at my boons down there in the bottom right we have got a lot of boons we have got a lot of freaking boons. Now, I went a little crazy with my abilities there. In a real fight, uh, we would not have... Um, I would have 25 might right now. Uh, hold on, let me get out of this because I'm having to focus to keep myself alive here. So, let's go through the skills. Rifle 1, you just shoot and it heals around it when it hits. Simple stuff. Rifle 2, you got a targeting reticule. You hit in an area. If it hits a boss, uh, sorry, if it hits a an enemy, it makes a clone. So that's your clone generator. Not as fast clone generation as the Scepter, for example, but it does make you a clone every five seconds, and it also regens that whole area and does a sizable heal when it lands. So it does a 2800 base heal. So if I go back into this extreme field and I do this, Boom, you can see my heal just went back up by a few thousand. That was because of that skill when it impacts. Now, the three inspiring imagery is the reason my might was a little bit lower there because I panicked. Now, if you use the three, you throw it down. After it expo uh, explodes on its own, you get a bunch of might and fury. However, I'm going to reset my cooldown. If I use the three and then detonate it myself manually, it's a massive heal. Let me delete this golem just so that we get out of combat here so we can see tooltips. Uh, if you detonate the three, it is a 5,500 base heal. That is twice the strength of the two. So you can you basically just use the three off of cooldown to keep boons up, but if ever an emergency happens, you just detonate it, skip refreshing the boons for that one use of the three, and have it just blast everyone's health bars back to full. In an ideal world, then the next time you use it, it refreshes the boons before they fall off. The four, I was just using it off cooldown to get more clones, but it is a CC. Also, the five... Um, uh, gives a sizable amount of barrier. You can see that right there. And it also has that thing where you can use it and then use it again, uh, and you get the little thing where people can click on it and port to you. Literally did not use that a single time in the strikes. <laughs> Only used it for more barrier on the party when they needed it. Uh, what I ended up doing was I used this build. This is not a guide video. I'm just showing you what worked for me all the way through the Bone Skinner, the strongest of strikes. I was doing this, and when I needed to go Alacrity, I used that trait. When I needed to use Quickness, I used that trait. That felt awesome. Awesome. The ability to just change one trait, use the same gear, and I believe right now I'm using a mixture of Giver's and Harrier's gear. Uh, the same gear combined with these two traits, I could be the Quickness Healer or the Alac Healer and be playing in the exact same way. I was using Well of Eternity, uh, which heals me and heals allies and cures conditions around me. I'm running a trait so that my Shatters cure conditions. I was using Well of Action literally on cooldown just to help keep booms up. The Well of Senility, I was just using it mainly as an AOE we heal. You could put whatever you want here. Signet of Illusions, I was using with the Restorative Illusions trait. I was basically just using all my shatters and then using that again to refresh them all because 90% of the boons I provide come from shatters, just to show. Look, look, look at that. That's insane. So, being able to refresh all of those shatters just so you could do that again was wild. So that was really good. And then of course MOA for the Giga CC. And sometimes I would continuum split and then just double MOA so for double double big CC. Uh, it was really good. Um, I was using a lot of Scepter Shield at first. However, I, qu I, I found out over time I didn't need to. Uh, it does make clones more quickly. Um, when you're in combat, you 
uh, get a clone every third auto with the Scepter, and just by double tapping the two and just releasing it immediately, you get a clone. The five gives you some boons. However, uh, you are you will be max might without using the shield five. It does give some swiftness uptime. Uh, this build does not supply great swiftness. However, everything else that you saw, um, the 25 might, the fury, the regen, the protection, uh, self alack whether you're the alack provider or not, quickness to everyone around you or alacrity to everyone, or every, uh, to everyone around you, like all of that stuff, uh, vigor, I forgot vigor, all of that stuff does not need the scepter or shield in hand. So once I realized that, because uh, there was a moment, there's a few moments where it felt bad, where you would like, you'd swap to mez from a uh, rifle to your other weapon, and then someone else's health would dip. And you have some healing from your shatters, and you have some healing from your wells, but the healing from this takes three seconds, heal, heal. It's when the well ends, it heals. So three seconds in combat feels like an eternity. So having no access to that big heal or that big heal felt very scary. It kind of felt like when your astral power has just run out on your druid and then Billy stands in the fire and you're like, ah, oh, because you're more limited on what you can do to save their life. So when I realized I didn't have to put the rifle away to keep my boons up, I stopped putting the rifle away. I basically started just one, you know, just one tricking rifle and it still felt fine. I'm sure there's better ways to do it. I am sure there's better ways to do it, but I'm just telling you as someone who has never seriously played Chrono, I did this build. I practiced it for a little bit, went into strikes, kept all the boons up, did sizable healing, was able to heal like Bone Skinner and stuff like that, and had huge CC. It felt awesome. Uh, Cause you basically just Signet of Humility and Shatter 3 at the same time, was just tons of CC on the enemy. And it was, it was you know, destroying break bars. It was really fun. So yeah, uh, I don't know if it's something I'm going to play like long term or anything like that. I tried Staff Warrior yesterday and I felt like I was so bad at it. I didn't even bother making like a little review video like this one about it. But I will say uh, this was kind of fun. Uh, and just to be clear, the Staff Warrior was viable. I didn't enjoy the play style. That's it. It, it does work. It does work. Um, but yeah, uh, did I try Mirage? No, I try. I only did uh, Chrono. When I looked at Mirage, um, honestly, just you have to do a staff ambush, is my understanding, to keep a lack up. So you have to, for periods of time, put the new healing weapon away to keep Alacrity up, which seemed like a major pain. So I, I went with this, and then I did some practice with the Alac version uh, and some practice with the Quickness version. And if you're like me and you didn't know what Chrono did before today, they always are providing Alac to themselves. This is Alac to other people. This is Quickness to you and everyone. So if you're running this straight, even if you're soloing or in an open world thing, you're going to have Quickness and Alacrity because of this trait and this trait. So it feels really good. Rifle Ambush should give a Alac. Uh, I would be okay with that. Uh, currently, the Rifle Ambush uh, fires a spray of healing in front of it, weaker than the two, and also uh, Vigor. But yeah, uh, I'm just sharing my experience. It, it's a fun little build, absolutely viable. It does have some flexibility. Uh, like really, I feel like the Well of Senility I used and Signet of Illusions could both be changed to something else. Uh, the Moa Signet, if you don't need the CC, could easily be changed for something else. Uh, well of Eternity, I was using for Condi Cleanse, you could definitely change some stuff out if you prefer mantras. I didn't like how the mantras uh, felt because they have three charges and it's like if you're using restorative mantras, the first charge of the mantra, you see that the top tooltip will heal, but then you use the bottom one two times, which doesn't heal, and then there's a cooldown and then you go back to the top one. So I, I didn't like that play style. I liked the wells a whole lot more, but that's just me. You, you might not be the same. So uh, that's it. Just sharing my experiences. This is super viable. It, it is kind of fun. Um, uh, the, the just, ah, boons, boons, like the, the boons are freaking insane on this thing. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty neat. And, uh, definitely if, uh, that's, you know, if being your own gun line, summoning a whole bunch of copies of you firing at a distance and raining down healing grenades on your allies sounds fun to you, uh, maybe give it a try. Again, not a build guide, but I can tell you this one worked for a noob like me. And uh, I was, I did some of the stuff with Harrier's gear and some of the stuff with Giver's gear. I was using Transference and Concentration and Relic of the Monk simply because I use it on all my supports, but there may have been a better option there. All right, and uh, if you've got any input on how this could have gone better, put it in the comments down below. Tell me all about how wrong I played it. Would love to hear about it.